We are back with this week's edition of the Magic City Highlight Robote Recap. Let's get to it. Douglas was hot coming out of the gates in week eight, snagging three wins on Thursday alone. However, the Wonder Boy went on an uncharacteristic cooler, collecting just one more victory throughout his remaining games. Number 13 still maintains his lead atop the championship single standings at an impressive mark of 34 victories. He is now four games ahead of Ikeda, who also struggled to close out the playing week. Perhaps the coffee supply was low, but the barista didn't show off that infectious energy and electric style of play that we've become accustomed to at the Magic City front on this season. Ikeda ultimately tallied just two victories, his lowest output across one week in 2020. At 30 wins, Ikeda remains within an arm's reach of Douglas, but he can't afford any more down weeks if he has any hope of making a push to the top spot. In third place is Magic City sweetheart number 37, Tennessee. The nicest guy in the roster also didn't deliver the same inspired play that he captivated fans with in the previous week. He added just one win to his new total of 24. The top three in our championship single standings didn't put up their typical stat lines due in large part to the dominating performances throughout the week by the Golden Sesta frontrunners Ron Ron and Carbayo. Both players set the pace all week in singles action, trading blow for blow in one of the hardest fought battles for the Golden Sesta we've seen all season. Once again, it came down to the final game of week eight, with Carbayo needing a win to match Ron Ron's win total on the week. Although Carbayo pulled out all the stops, seemingly doing it all with his combination of solid catching, elite athleticism, and flair, it just wasn't meant to be as Kubala's victory sealed the deal for number 12, Ron Ron. We've been saying this guy has the potential to rival Douglas and he finally showcased those skills, putting it all together in week eight to the tune of five singles victories and an overall 66% in the money clip. It's no coincidence that in his first week looking completely healthy, Ron Ron captured the golden Sesta. Don't sleep on number 12, or his hair for that matter, as he could easily propel up the singles leaderboard in a hurry. We are now entering the final week of the first doubles tournament at Magic City Highlight. Douglas and Lamonte added three victories in week eight, giving them a nine game lead for first place at 29 wins. Bueno and Tennessee needed a big week to put themselves in contention in week nine, but they went in the complete opposite direction. They collected a pedestrian one win and now stand at a total of 20 for the tournament. More notably though, they lost a seven game lead for second place by a massive six wins. The scorching hot duo of Carballo and Juice can pat themselves on the back for that one. This doubles team played their hearts out in week eight, winning seven games to go along with an in the money percentage of 78. Carballo and Juice now have 19 wins, just one win away from second place. Will Bueno and Tennessee be able to stop the bleeding in time, or will the freight train that is the team of Carbayo and Juice continue to plow through the competition in week nine? Make sure to tune in throughout the week to find out who wins and who ultimately captures second place and that $5,000 bonus in the closing week of this first doubles tournament. Shout out to this week's fantasy winner, Choker Clown. Watch our weekly fantasy review on YouTube or our Instagram page at Highlight Channel for more details on Choker Clown's winning week eight lineup. Every week is a new chance to earn points and potentially win, so even if you miss a week, you can always come back. You can also join at any time, so feel free to start drafting today. Visit fantasyhighlight.com to join the league, draft your own fantasy team, and get in on all the action. This week's Robote play goes to number 10, Juice. Juice nearly missed his first game of the week after a flat tire delayed his arrival to the fronton. He made it just minutes before he had to get on the court with no time to warm up or even practice. As fate would have it, number 10 not only went on to win that game, but also captured the play of the week in the process with this falling two-wall Robote save. It's safe to say that he was pretty juiced up after this one. Take a look for yourself in this Robote play of the week. Juice moved in, then throws a two-all Robote to score. Nicely thrown, point three. 